What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. This is a 2019 Dodge Charger, December 19. It is December 9 actually, yeah, <laughs> not 19. It's my birthday and I decided to come into work because people scheduled some stuff up and they wanted to, well, get some work done. So I decided to make some videos. Okay, 2019 Dodge Charger. I always said about removing the sweeps. I did remove the sweep on this one, but a lot of the people that still do not like to remove sweeps at all so i'm gonna do one with the sweep removed which is relatively simple then i'm gonna go ahead and do at the same time that one over there but two stage without removing sweep so wish me luck hope everything goes good all right let's see this one goes like this i guess there you go all right so Where's my can? Let me get my can in here. Then I'll go ahead in the next video, do the uh, back window. As far as dirty saucing it, shrinking it, and um, Cali rolling it. I'll do it a little bit. Just be patient. Okay. birthday thing doesn't mean a whole lot to me it's a special day but work is work man all right these glasses are laminated so there's a lot of dirt that sits there be sure and roll it all the time and just one pass one pass and Okay, so now. On this vehicle, I didn't tape up the sides because when I am able to bottom load it, I'm really, really able to control where the film goes. When I two stage, which is gonna be on that door, I have no control where the film goes. Uh, it's gonna perhaps touch sides and that's the reason for that one being taped up and this one was not. All right. We always discuss about slips and all that and people ask me what this, this particular film has a very sticky adhesive and it doesn't like any type of slip solution but Tint Slime Ultra. I don't never use the regular. I'm, I'm in the south so I need as much slip as possible so when I started using it I never tried the regular, I always just tried Ultra. If I use Joy or this or that on this one what happens with this particular film, it sticks a lot and it doesn't allow my film to move. It has, you know, it's it's a very different animal. So um, I use some other stuff with some other slip solution, uh, with films, and this one, I've used uh, Tin Slime. I've learned my lesson, you know, like everybody else. there get rid of this real quick this is a computer I don't know I actually hand cut it I just didn't want to show a video of me hand cutting it's not important right now the only thing that's important is this nice vehicle two staged versus um, bottom load on a 300 there it is. This type of film 
is a carbon film, by the way. All right. done. Okay. Pattern's already been cut. So, okay. back window already left it soaking so that whatever gunk is in there it'll be a lot easier for me to clean the back window and there'll be no peanuts and such nice and dry okay this guy's gonna torture me with his two-stage thing You can air peel the uh, the bottom loading for sure. For sure. The top I'm using a scrub necessarily because that's the only thing that touches the lip up there. The rest of the stuff I'm not gonna do that necessarily. I'm gonna do something else, which is this. I don't like lips with a bunch of oil from the top. So that has to be done. Okay. We're done there. Same thing. Nice lip at the top. There is a tape right there. I don't like two stage, but I'm gonna do the two stage for you guys so you can you know just have an idea of how to get this stuff rolling with the least amount of problems or contaminants and of course there's many ways to skin this cat so you're welcome to drop some comments and tell me something can be improved I will learn from it of course I'm always learning side that is less of a problem is going to be this well actually I like to start on this small side shove it in there and then do this guy over here there you go and if I don't like to I got some tin slime here I don't like to two stage it's because of this 
I prefer to drop it like it's hot. And that'll be that. Can you imagine if I use the other soap? This one is the nicest one that it likes and it still sticks a little bit. Perfect. There it is. Let's do our thing. Okay, thing is that go ahead and stretch your film, manipulate it so it won't have fingers on the bottom, you know, because even if the film is flat as fuck, and if you distribute this wrong, you're going to have a bunch of little fucking fingers, and because this thing has a gasket on the bottom, you're going to pay the price. You're going to be like, man, I got all these little fingers, I tried to take them out, got contaminated, got creased, got scratched. All that stuff is always happening. dry the top before rolling it up because that lip retains water and when you roll it up it squishes it on down and guess where it's gonna go it's gonna go into that lip of film okay okay no problem as far as gap light nice all the way to the edge you can see the tape the film is in there no contaminants as of now, so I like what's going on. Okay. This bottom portion, when you roll it up, it's got that um, gasket in there, so it's going to roll up with a bunch of little fuzz and contaminants. So if you can, do this first before you drench it with the water. That way you have a better opportunity of having a nice clean no fuzz install okay once we do this we're gonna go ahead and kind of like do a little trick to roll it in there oh there it is there roll it up like this um, and there up and down okay up and down here now, my trusty tool, open it up and then roll it in there. Okay. Being that I did a hand cut, the film is pretty much right there in the edge and perhaps a quarter inch down uh computer patterns i don't remember if it goes way down or not but i control that also when i cut them now this is the very first time uh that i've done this in the video but i want you to know if you can see right here there's a fuckload of contaminants here this is two staging and uh, that's the reason I don't like the two stage. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, sweep. And if we learn something today is that that right there is darely easy. This right here, even if it's a little contaminants here, it's still contaminants in the middle of the window or wherever they're gonna be seen, they're gonna be questioned and you don't have an answer. I can show you right here. Look at all these contaminants here, a lot of them. Look at how clean it is over here. So this area is not a problem. It's just when you do the flip and the and the curl and everything so people inboxing about problems to solve uh, specs and whatever in two staging I decided a long time ago to remove sweeps that's the reason I'm showing you live here I wish that every installation of mine would be a success unfortunately this one is not but I'm glad that it's not so you can see the reason I choose especially in these 300s tight gasket or whatever not to do a uh, not to do a two stage so anyway guys thanks a lot for joining let me remove this and redo it in uh you know, drop it, bottom load and all that kind of stuff. Guys, have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.